All right, real quick update. I've done most of the painting. I still need to do some detail work, like with some black for paneling. So I've started to trace out here on the uh, on the front panel, which I haven't finished. There's more to do, but it's a lot of complex shapes. So that's taking some time there. I tape it off and paint it. I did the stripe, but if you can't tell, it needs to be redone because it should be parallel with the floor, not parallel with the top. So you see the red stripe gets bigger on the left and shrinks on the right, or it gets bigger if you go from right to left and smaller if you go from left to right. It shouldn't be like that. Actually, the gray should be getting bigger as you go from right to left. So I just have to redo that on both sides. It won't take much paint. Uh, I, I knew not to do that and I still was in a hurry and I still miss measured it instead of going from the bottom. Like I told myself, I measured from the top. So I'll go because the right, I measured from the top. And then I was like, okay, now I need to measure where that is from the bottom and do the same over here. And then I just measured the tops the same. So, but anyways, it's looking really good. I, I like the lighter gray more than the dark gray. I think the dark gray seems to be appropriate for the inside, especially the, the front panel, but the light gray um, is a lot better for the uh, the outside. I probably should have some kind of custom mixed or do some other different uh, weathering or whatever to make it look like the exact gray, but it's close enough for now. And you know, always, I might replace these panels anyways. They're pretty flimsy, uh, medium density fiberboard or thin MFD. Uh, so I might replace it with some thinner, nicer uh, actual wood, not thinner than that, but some thin sheet wood now that prices are coming down. It might be stronger, so I can worry about doing more then. So yeah, all I'm gonna do today is run a, a, a thing of painter's tape across again and add some gray to remove some of the, remove some of the red from right here to make the, the line go right. So that's pretty much it. Do a quick, Look at it from a couple angles before we end this. That's a farther apart, of course, when it's assembled. But the red, I like the red. It's colonial red, I think is what it is. Oh, I have a can right here. Using this two in one primer. Let's see. There it is. It's satin. Flatter gray, I think I've got here for the satin light gray. And then the dark gray. Also satin. I think the black is actually the one that's flat. Alright, I'm gonna get the painting. Oh, the last thing is to, I mean, if I have time after a paint, I'll tape this off and paint it, but I have some more sketching to do, so we'll see. Alright, I'll just let you know in the next update.